Hi everyone, my name is Taisia and welcome to my channel. Today I will paint the baby Yoda or the child from the Mandalorian TV series. I used the oil paints. I took the stretched canvas 20 to 30 centimeters or 8 to 12 inches. It's ready to hang and gallery stretched. Medium green. I'll paint looking on a tablet. I made a basic grid to orient when drawing. The image has the same proportions as the canvas. I took this soft synthetic brush to make the ground color with the acrylic paint. The brush is 2.7 inches or 7 centimeters wide. For the underdrawing I used the ochre yellow acrylic, but also could be used herbal green cyan or amber according to the main colors of the picture. Ochre seems to me the most natural. The white color of the basic canvas background contrasts too much with all the colors and it's difficult to choose the right color tone ratio plus a layer of acrylic is an additional primer so that the oil lays on the canvas better. I made two layers, they dry fast. On sides too. I made a basic grid at the canvas. The second stage of my imprimatura is the tone ratio by the oil paints. The oil list of paints I used for this painting is raw amber, burnt cyana, sap green, indigo, quenacridone rose, titanium white. I am mixing the oil paints with the odorless solvent, paint thinner like white spirit, so it's thinner and faster to dry. I wipe with a cloth, napkin or toilet paper like an eraser on paper. In the start I'm trying different brushes, bristles, synthetics, horse bristles, but settled on third badger. Although it's big, I can draw everything with the thin tip. Then I take my favorite tool, the cloth. I erase the excess and clarify the form and then make a tone drawing. The head should shape like a ball. Because the original background isn't white, I leave the ochre as the light color. The first drawing is approximate and will be refined as the details are drawn. Then just watch what is missing and finish. I don't always draw a grid, especially when I draw from the objects in real life. Without it in principle I could also draw, but it would take more time and nerves. I really hope to convey the temper and the atmosphere of the child. I use the bristle untidy brush to smooth. Here I took two liquid and need to wrap it with a cloth, so the layer is thin. I love these things, you shouldn't be in rush, but still this first layer should be done quickly and maybe much less complete than I do. This first layer is only for shades and shouldn't be complete much. But we need to know how to paint the shades in future. Now he looks kinda sad, but I will do something with this. You can paint even less than I'm doing now. Sometimes I get carried away and it shouldn't be perfect. Doing the background it shouldn't be bright. This dark place making darker, but not thick. The brush is almost dry. The foreground is in the focus to make attention to the face and eyes. Now the grid is almost invisible. This layer is important because it's much easier to paint after and without stress. This is the point thing. Softening a little more. When this layer is done, 
You can wait it to dry a little if it hadn't much liquid. Rub with a dry brush or rag. And you can wait a few hours or the next day. Or if the original color finally. I'm starting to use the real bright colors. I'll paint more saturated and brightly. First, it's better to put shadows, not pasty, but thinly. The shades are brown, warm, so the light should be cold. Guanacridone rose paint into the place of the ears delicately with synthetics and rub with a rag. I take indigo with greasy sap green and wipe so that the edges are not clear. Blur the shadows and darken the background. I'm not drawing details on the background because I don't want to attract attention to the background. I'm painting clothes and light hairs on the head first with a fan bristle. I'm detailing the nose and eyes by indigo with a thin brush. I'm working on the face, checking chiaroscuro, color and proportions. Sometimes cold color can look warmer on the warm background. The background and clothes darkened a little to make the face stand out. I'm painting folds with a raw umber.
In principle, it's ready. Here are a few clothes shirts and on the wall. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and look on the Instagram. I also have the Etsy store. If you want to start selling on Etsy, you could register by my link and get 40 free listings. If you like this video, please give it a like and write me your feedback. Also, please write me what do you want to be painted next.